Hello, I am Virtual Pix, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Um, there was a really interesting comment in the last video I done. Uh, someone mentioned, "Could I make a plane that didn't have any landing gear?" And this intrigued me so much, I just had to come back and actually give it a go. So that's what we're going to be doing today, and I am going to include the. In most of the build process for this but for those devices that can do this if you don't want to see that build process there will be a skip button about here somewhere around here somewhere like next to me and it will skip you to the point of the video where I actually start flying whatever I built so on that let's get straight into the building of this it's exciting I've got some, I've had a few rough ideas of what I want to do, and I think it's going to be an interesting craft. So we're going to start out with this. We're going to have this as possibly a mid-craft cockpit. So this won't actually be the front or at the back, it'll be the middle, hopefully. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, I've got a lot of mods that will help me do this including a couple which had some pretty sweet VTOL engines to it um... actually I... Woo! see I can move myself as well ain't that cool so yeah oh, a little bit of a blink there um... so yeah that, that annotation has probably moved to this side now. Yeah, that's kind of that's really disorientating. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not used to having my camera over that side. Anyway, carrying on. Right, um, a craft that's going to be able to land with or take off and land without landing gear is going to have to be a VTOL because I can't just have this thing scraping along on the floor because it will demolish itself. So, because of that, I probably want it to be really well controlled in there as well. So, we're going to chuck a monopropellant tank and a liquid fuel tank either end. And then we need to give it an engine, because it's going to have to have something which can, once it's up in the air, it needs to be able to push it forward to get it up to momentum. And I was thinking that what I might do is actually use the same engine, this one here, that I used on Alyssa. So yeah, now we've got a nice engine there. Craft at the moment should be yeah, relatively well balanced. Um, something for the nose. Now, we can either go for a short stubby nose, like that, or we could go for a more aerodynamic nose, which is going to push the weight further forward. Unless we empty the oxidizer out of it, which actually puts the balance perfect. Exactly what I want. I mean, the closer that centre of mass is to the actual centre of the ship, the easier this thing is going to be to take off. And that's what I want don't want nothing it's going to be too difficult to take off um, actually I better check to see what kind of engines I can use for this because I've got this um, so I could use the obviously not like that but I could use that I guess and then maybe attach some of those Oh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, question is, how am I going to do that? I oh, know, we're going to use procedural wings. Uh, put the procedural wing about there. Actually, we'll want to pair it up so that it's equal both sides and it's less work. Um, again, th that skip button is going to be there for the entire of this build process. Um, it will be somewhere on the screen. You'll see it. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to be. That'll be done after I've record, done the recording. But anyway, moving back to the plane, are we going to put that? Um, is that going to be too long? That nah, should be okay. 
I want to take its whip down though. So we'll take it down to about there. Um, oh, that looks pretty cool. I suppose we could offset it a little bit. That's probably going to make it harder build wise, but oh well. And in fact, I'm actually going to shorten as well. Now, does that mean that if I now stick. No, they're still going to be a bit skew if. Uh, that's okay. That's not too much of a problem. I just need to work out how I'm going to get these things to sit how I want them to. Um, maybe it might be a case of putting it, putting them kind of like there, and then using the rotate tool to rotate the entire unit around. Oh, that's going to put that back engine ever so slightly high. Um, the question is, is that going to be much of a problem? It doesn't, it doesn't seem to have offset the weight too much. Oh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And, I mean, I suppose we could pull it, pull the weight back a little bit by adding an extra fuel tank, like so. Yeah, we can pull the weight back a little bit. And then put another one on the front. So hopefully these... Oh, well, that's not going to work because that's going to upset the engine. That engine's going to clip. I don't want clippy engines. Ugh. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, so how are we going to manage this? I just want to try something. These little hard points, if I shove them on the side... Ah, actually. I'll, I'll check that out in a sec. We'll check that out now. Uh, no, I want engines. Engines! Yeah, I moved the camera so that you can actually see the list of parts. Because I realised that you couldn't actually see what the hell I was even doing. Which isn't useful. It's not very useful to you. No, no. There we go. Okay, so no, that, that's not going to work properly. And I'm gonna guess it's pretty much same. Yeah, same for you. You're just smaller. Also, I can't add fuel to those. I can add fuel to these though, which is useful. Okay, so if we've got that, mm, how can we? We obviously can't use that engine like I was hoping um, what we could do however I will find the rotation ah ha 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 okay now these ones actually stick on the side that's kind of handy I need to pull it that way a little bit yeah yeah kind of like that now as these empty, are they gonna... No, they're not affecting it too much. Oh, I can scale you. Can I scale these engines, I wonder? No, I can't. That's a shame. Oh, well. Um, and we'll have that. And we'll have, again, you. Because we want these kind of outboard things. Because this is essentially these parts are gonna rotate down, toggle. There we go, toggle hover. And that is essentially what the vessel is gonna land on. It's gonna land on its engines. Like this thing would not work in reality. It's just there's no two ways about it. It wouldn't work. 
simple as. Um, okay, so we got the main part of the ship, I guess. I mean, some of the problem now is that those engines are actually quite heavy, so I should probably put maybe there and just just to reinforce you a little bit because otherwise there's a risk of them actually weighing too much and they're just gonna kind of flop all over the place like no tomorrow that's not what we want right so that's that's the ship so far now I'm gonna use these um, procedural wings again and I'm gonna probably create like a double spoiler system over it somehow or actually maybe maybe that would be a better idea All right, I've got an idea um, for the tail section of this but it is going to take me a while to build so this bit will actually be cut because I need to do this and I, need, I will actually have to concentrate unfortunately I have to concentrate for once and I tend to go quiet when I concentrate so if I go quiet I'll just cut it if not it will stay in but you guys will see you'll, you'll see when it's done and that will create the up and down motion for the back end of the ship. It's a bit weird looking and it's definitely interesting. Right, and now I need to create something for the middle. So we only want one this time. We want you kind of like that. Oh, hello. That's not going to work. Nah, that's too big. Oh, actually, can I scale you? Because if I can scale you, you'd be perfect. Ah, I can scale you, sweet. Um, I want to scale you to about that. Actually, I'm going to set it up as two, and we're going to have you at kind of a weird... There we go. Hmm... I don't know, that looks a bit weird. Yeah, don't like that. I'm not, don't like that at all. What we can do, however, is use these actual tail fins. Just to make sure of it. And hopefully that will give it a nice, sharp yawing ability. Um, and we need that actual wings, otherwise this thing's not gonna fly. Uh, what do, you, what do you look like? Are you good? Yeah, you look pretty sweet, actually. Question is, do you look even better? I know you're smaller. Yeah, so you're smaller. You don't quite match up with the ship, whereas... You look pretty sweet, and you actually match up with the ship, kind of. Although these are even bigger... Oh no, that looks, that looks nice. I like that. How much do they weigh in comparison though? Those are a mass of 1.116 versus a mass of... That's quite a lot of mass increase. Oh, we'll go with that. If it doesn't work, we'll go back to the other wings. Um, it's not going to need any landing gear because doesn't use landing gear I'm a little bit worried that these are actually going to collide with that engine so maybe uh, maybe I should chain actually we'll see go into a deployed state no actually no that's not too bad yeah, that's, that's not much of a movement, so yeah. Yeah, we'll stick with that. I mean, if it clips, it clips, and I'll just come back and change it, and just move them 
slant them back ever so slightly so they're out of the way. Because I don't want any of my parts clipping. Because that would just suck. Alright, now we need some solar panels. This thing's going to need plenty of power. Where'd you go? I don't want you over there. I want you along here. Yeah, that looks... That's quite cool looking. That should hopefully charge the ship effectively. Right. Uh, here's a thought. How much the output do these engines actually have? Oh, max 0.9. These are actually pretty powerful engines. So that whole ship might actually work. I mean, it's not going to need much in the way of monopropellant. Because I can use these little buggers. Right, now where's my RCS build aid? Uh, yeah, well, looks like we're looking not too shabby. I mean, it's got a bit of an offset. But that's something that can be piloted out quite easily. Um, okay, what about your mass to lift? Your lift is actually quite a fair bit back. Oh, that's actually not helpful. You know how we solve that? We take these advanced can yards and we shove them in the front like so. Oh, they're clipping. Damn. Preferably without the clipping. Yeah, that'll do. And that kind of pulls it forward a little bit. Still gonna want to go backwards, but that's I can thrust limit that by about ten. No, not nine point five. I want actual spot on ten, and hopefully that should resolve. Actually, no, it's not that bit I want to thrust limit, is it? It's this one here I want to thrust limit, and because it's back so much. Probably maybe a 15 on the thrust limit. That way it won't be pushing up on the nose so heavily so the nose's weight will actually kind of act as a counterbalance because the engines at the front aren't bit acting as powerful as they could. Okay, I'll tell you what. For the time being we'll call it the X12 and we'll just put in prototype so I know actually I don't even need to put that in, I'll remember we'll call it the X12 as a placeholder and I want you guys to come up with a name for it because I've got no clue I, it takes me ages to name these planes normally so we'll click save and let's go see how this works so th this is where the skip button will have taken you hopefully if I get it right if I don't get it right it will have taken you a bit further forward and you'll completely miss that. Oh, well, the game's obviously not happy about that. Ooh, hello. Yeah, the game definitely ain't happy about that. Why is... Why did it do that? Okay, so it's just instantly broken my ship. Done. Now I'll hold it stably, and... I didn't do my staging. Whoops. It's alright, I'll do it when we're in flight. Yeah, there we go. See? Perfect. Now all we have to do is add a stage. And whoop. Alright, so toggle hover mode switches you. Do you know what? I've just realised something. What I should have actually done is... Right, there will be a quick cut in here, I'm just going to make a quick change to the control scheme. Ah, there we go, and we're back. Right, yeah, um, the changes I made, basically, I didn't want to be turning all four of these engines off at the same time. I need to be able to turn them on and off individually, dependent on the circumstances. So they're now on separate buttons. Bring it up to about there, the thrust. Let's bring the thrust up full, maybe. Uh, 
Actually, do you know what? Might. Actually, have done something. I, my god, this thing is actually kind of working. It's a little bit heavy on the back end, so I'm thinking I might need to increase. No, no I think we should be okay there. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Yeah, that was a bad idea. So, we switch the both engines on. Bring them up to power. There we go, they should be up to power now. Or not. No! Sticky keys! Stop screwing me over! Yeah, see, this is where I need the SAS and probably the monopropellant part as well. Just dip it forward. What actually happens if I do turn that main engine on? God, it's working. I have done it. I have created a plane that doesn't have landing gear. The question is, is can it land? Ooh, over we go. Well, I guess we'll see. Um, this bit might be cut down into parts landing because this is probably going to be difficult as all hell to land. And we want to stop you. Come on, come on. You know you want to. Settle down. That's it, settle down. We need to bring that thrust down. We need to bring it down very gently. And initially I was thinking that I would have to use like some sort of infinite generator on this. Because of fuel issues. It does actually look like the fuel on this is pretty efficient. I mean I could even have these bits of wings up here hold fuel. To help drive more fuel into it if necessary. Alright, we're going forward a little fast here, so just activate the RCS quickly, tilt me back. Yeah, like I said, those wings are actually clipping, so I'll probably be slanting them back a little bit. Oh dear god. You're very, very monopropellant hungry. See, as with a helicopter, I need to kind of arc it back to bring it into a stable position. Stable position. <laughs> Donk. Okay, well... I think I've proven this thing does actually have the control necessary to land like this as to whether that's efficient pilot wise probably not I mean I'm good at making these things not as good at flying them but to be honest I mean all it's actually done is just separated itself none of these parts have actually exploded everything's still there Yeah, even the RCS port on this bit under here looks like it's still there. Is it still there? Let's have a look. Yeah, even it's still there. So yeah, nothing actually got destroyed. It was just a case of it broke apart. 
So this kind of does actually work. So yes, it is possible to make a plane that doesn't have landing gear. Who'd have thought? Definitely not me. I was actually voting that this was going to fail horribly. But I guess sometimes I underestimate my building abilities. That really didn't mean... I did not mean that to sound big-headed, but it did. But anyway... That is where I'm going to leave this one, so thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next video.